<laughs> Welcome everybody and hello. Thank you so much for uh, actually mm, giving me that information over the <laughs> of Fall 22 and uh, Chris Vizzi. Thank you, sirs. Welcome, welcome. Um, I do have to say, oh my god, the third game of Ulysses going against the SUS team uh, in this um, Silver Far Squadrons. We do need to check out uh, everything that's happening. And as you can see over here, we do have uh, everybody that joined and uh, managed to join the lobby. I think uh, I need to rejoin really quickly also. Uh, because uh, yeah, well, it is what it is. Uh, I did need to um, check the zero MSs. Uh, yesterday we had an amazing game coming up uh, into this uh, series. We had actually uh, a game being played on a Pangaea, an interesting Pangaea. Uh, the the biggest thing over there was the fact that we could uh, see Sandro Kings manage to um, take over almost to take over two of the enemy's capitals and was uh, about to take over the third one uh, on the other side of the planet amazing uh, the biggest thing also I we got to ask here is uh, if we're gonna see Pangea what kind of map do we have do we have Pangea do we have Pan it's islands <sighs> Get ready, everybody, for one of those long games. We might see some fireworks coming up in the Highlands. Yeah, it seems it is Pangea. Uh, it is Highlands. Look at them putting the team pluses with Highlands being um, checked over here. So I, I think it's Highlands. I, I don't know, man. Let me actually put it up uh, on the screen. I do have a few comments to say, and of course, we're gonna get to uh, uh, talk about them Im immediately. Hi, Lance. Okay, so Bonsoir, Fifi, Bienvenue, Monsieur. Welcome, welcome, Marco Diabolo. Hello there. Yeah, let's go. Eight hour game. Uh, yeah, Beaver Seasons already is uh, falling asleep. He's the resident sleeper over here. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Salty Capybara, Bienvenue. How are you doing, ma'am? Was so excited. I forgot to... exactly. I was like, you know, I, I was clicking the button but i totally forgot how it works now uh, let me actually take a look here elifino 23 hype 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 indeed welcome sir um we do have um also chuck confirming that is indeed highlands so uh, it's a message for me and mom um let me uh, take a look over here uh star spangy bona sera donle bona sera benevenit commander keen was asking us about the predictions uh and this actually reminds me of, uh, first of all good evening sir and welcome thank you so much for reminding me let's actually start up the prediction for how many remaps and i'm gonna put it for five minutes because i think uh, we're actually gonna get to um uh, go quite quickly through the active ban phase. Smeep7, uh, good evening, sir, and welcome. Tango Rango, hello, good evening. We got Visa Electra in the house as well. Good evening, sir, welcome, welcome. Um, Crispy AZ was the first one to pick up a promotion. Thank you so much, sir. And of course, welcome to uh, the stream. I do have to say, Flying Kongwat was so excited. We had a game today. He actually was here before the stream. He was <laughs> flying all over the place on the stream over here you can even see him in you know rolling rolling like this in, in, in slow motion and he did right over here it did right the first one good hello there leonidas 971 hello there and welcome uh, let's uh, see what uh, the players are gonna do here. We do have in the active ban phase on the Highlands map, uh, three civilizations already banned. Uh, Russia looks like Mali and uh, looks like um, uh, Matthias Corvinus is taken out. Uh, I got a thought over there because we did have a bit of a um, um, nerf on Ethiopia. Are they actually gonna pick or ban Ethiopia? I'm honestly, I'm thinking if they're gonna do this i don't know i don't know honestly i don't know and i um i i gotta um, also comment on uh, what you were saying earlier um about uh, having enough energy i just it, it is something that's happening <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit weird i don't think it's that good to eat before the stream like right before the stream i should actually eat like an hour and a half maybe two hours before the stream but i always end up eating like an hour uh, how to say like uh, 45 minutes or an hour before and i'm uh, always like people fat over here and i oh my god bro 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 i you know like how it is we call it uh, cs Siesta, right you, you need to do your siesta you need to chill down a little bit you know let the um, how to say uh, let the food settle and everything and i'm always uh, over here uh, talking and i'm <laughs> moving and doing stuff 
<laughs> oh my god man that's one of the reasons i actually uh, sometimes i need to uh, wait a little bit uh, before i say something because i'm like mm, oh no it's staying there staying there <laughs> you're not getting out of there Istrion, bonsoir, monsieur, bonsoir, your chair, gold, hello, there's a welcome, we got also um, uh, Marco Diablo pointing out uh, Highlands, Uber Eats, um, uh, going for 580 grams tacos, <gasps> that's a big taco, bro, that is, that is big, that is big, also, the United is seeing, uh, missing college tomorrow, just to watch this game, oh my god, 1am, oh, amazing, we got a few more bands uh, uh, chosen it looks like uh, rome is gonna pick picked up uh, the band uh, on the fourth one and uh, Cree is gonna pick up the fifth uh, choice ethiopia is or is not gonna make it this is a big question over here we got uh, as you can see uh coupe coupe so one of those one of those that you mentioned might might uh, did make it and we do see Firzos is going to have the first choice. Is he going to go for Ethiopia? Is he going to go for something like Canada? Uh, we do still have the goals uh, open. Now we got actually quite a few others um, that are preferred by the players on these uh, on this uh, Highlands. Um, I gotta mention, of course, Victoria. The problem is how do you want to open this map? Not what you'll end up with, but how do you want to open? Do you want to uh, give your opponent an incentive, you know, an insight into your uh, strategies? You want to pick something cultural first, something Tundra-like first, or do you, you want to go for something, uh, you know, out of the box over here, like Sweden, for example, or, you know, like Genghis Khan picked first or something you know that will set the tone for the remainder of this big face and it is gonna be manalik the second oh my god he dropped the bomb splash manalik the second after a year and a half we do have him showing up on the uh, highlands and as you can see it did receive a major actually major um uh, debuff uh, when it comes to his Oromo Cavalries, the Oromo Cavalries do not actually um, move of that fast on the hills, they, they can, uh, they um, are just like any other unit, but they still start with an extra movement when they start on hills. That's it, you know, one extra movement when starting in hills. Um, before that, it was on highlands at least, it was incredible how fast these Oromos would um, uh, travel across the map. Rockhound churches, of course, uh, did also receive back their adjacency from the mountains and we're going to need to see how um, the council of mr bonus will actually be used uh, hazagi hazagi is going to go for um, philip the second we do have spain showing up in the game xifi is going to go for the goals for ambiorix and we're still asking we're still asking where is arctic uzi you know we need the uzi in here where is the uzi uh, Leech coming up with uh, Teddy Roosevelt Bulmos. I gotta say this is actually one of his uh, preferred the go-to choices. Uh, he did, he does really like uh, to go for the preserve game slash holy site slash uh, other stuff. So uh, we do need to see how this is gonna happen. How he is gonna do this today. Awful 22. Thank you so much for the 31 sub. Uh, Tango Rango. Hello there. Welcome to the Dreamer, sir. Uh, can we see? Yeah, we will probably see a preserve gameplay. I mean, honestly you don't really pick bulmos to go campuses right you you pick bulmos to go preserves Ahmed Viv, hello there sir and welcome how are you doing man a long time no see uh, teddy uh, i like teddy bulmos yeah indeed yeah 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 i like him too amazing we don't need to see uh, four more bands hello there old triangle hello and welcome uh, we do need to see uh, four more bands uh, picked up. Uh, Victoria is going to be the seventh one, and uh, we definitely have um, quite a few of them uh, thinking about what they're going to do. Uh, it's, it's uh, you know, they need to take out those uh, good ones. Uh, the biggest question here is are we going to see something like Persia band, Gorgo, Pericles band, Canada band? Like, are they going to let those in? Japan looks like it's taken out in the eighth one, especially after what Japan did yesterday. Maybe this is a good choice. Uh, we did have, we still have Kublai China available. We got uh, Daido. We got um, quite a few civilizations that can do amazingly well on uh, Highlands. There's a lot of land, a lot of distance between you and the other players. You get to use uh, sometimes you know non fresh water cities unfortunately uh, but still it is um, gonna be quite important to pick a civilization that can 
develop a lot of cities. I'm curious if they're going to go also for something like Korea, uh, even though we've seen um, a few days ago Korea on the Highlands map. It didn't actually manage to get through as in, um, how to say, um, mm, rise up to the challenge of um, winning the game by itself, of carrying the game. He did try, but his allies were dying left, right and center. Couldn't actually go for uh, everything. That It is what it is. You know, sometimes you can't do everything. Of course, I do want to check uh, something really quickly over here. A lot of messages on on um, <laughs> Twitter, by the way. Histrion was like, oh, is this going to be a game tonight? Is this going to be a game tonight? <gasps> Nobody casting. And I was like, bro, I'm there. I'm there. Come on. Uh, Malm is also was like, yeah, we're doing this, bro. We're doing this. Woo. Hey, we got anonymous gifter dropping five more subs. Oh, my God. Oh, hello there. Thank you so much, anonymous gifter. We do have uh, Mithrok, we got uh, It Wasn't Me, we got the Cool Pants Mac Badass, we we do have Mactador, Moody, and Henny777, just subscribed. Hello there, Ivy, hello, good evening, hope everything is well, and of course you had a great time today. Uh, we got the last two choices, it looks like a Kublai Khan, a China, oh, well, is that Kublai Khan, China, Kublai Khan, Mongolia, well, I think it's China, right, we, we, we kind of debated this a few times, uh, it's Kublai Khan, China, and um, Canada uh, being picked up as the 10th uh, choice, so they did take out both of those Tundra civilizations, we do need to see um, one they're going to choose here, of course, uh, Teddy, uh, the Rough Rider is still available, for example, if Sandro Games wants to go for a two out of two, um, Matchup. Of course, yesterday he did manage to um, delete his opponents with Teddy Rough Rider. Uh, we do need to see um, what he's gonna choose here. I gotta say, Lotaro. Lotaro is still available for uh, for the picking. I don't think they're actually gonna pick it, but it's still there as an option. And oh, yes, yes, we got something out of the box over here. Sundok. Picked up by Sandro Games in the second pick phase, um, of course, for the SUS team. Uh, we do have uh, him uh, needing the gold from Philip II. He's going to need to also uh, rely on uh, Ambirex's um, boost in the Civic Tree. Uh, but man, this actually sets the tone. Sandro Games might show up uh, today with a very good Renaissance uh, timing with the Hawacha. He is going to get that high range strength. He is going to demolish his opponents if it gets to that. If anybody is going to be near him, ooh, you can imagine Sandro Games already is getting those chopsticks to actually eat his opponents alive we do need to see uh, chuck um, also pick up uh, civilization here sprigante is in shock they need to think how they're gonna counter this uh, daido is gonna go for um, uh, chuck is gonna be available for chuck we do need to see sprig uh, coming up next and it does look like um we're waiting for this. Uh, let's see. Godo Maratsu, good evening, sir, and welcome. Korea is pretty common in Highlands. Uh, Hawacha, am I right? Yeah, let's go, Hawacha. You see, Korea is pretty common, but I haven't seen it that much. Maybe in the normal games, but in the pre uh, like in the competitive games, uh, Korea doesn't end up that uh, like a lot of the times, that often. I was uh, totally missing the word often. It happens, you know, it happens. Okay, tick tock, tick tock. Sprigante coming up over here with um, the last choice for Team Ulisi. He is also going to go for something interesting. Pankachuti, uh, we have seen actually under the gun play it uh, quite a few times and he did manage to show us the way with uh, Pankachuti. <laughs> so now we got Team Ulysses full roster available. Pagachuti, Daido, it's going to be Teddy Roosevelt, the Bull Moose, and Menrik the Second showing up today for them. Uh, definitely not one of those usual matchups. We do have actually civilizations that we haven't seen uh, synergize uh, before. Definitely we need to see how they're going to do today. Um, we do also have Titu picking uh, Pericles. He's going to get um, a lot of uh, cultural defense, and we're going to need to see if he's going to also get that uh, nice and juicy. Um, I would say, uh, that nice and juicy pam 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 tourism. Oh, I, I need to do something. I, let me give me a second over here because I know, I know. So let's see the VIP. We, we need to give somebody a VIP over here. A big VIP, I gotta say. And a sub. Let's see. There we go. There we go. 
Ivy, thank you so much. Thank you so much and welcome. Uh, I missed you, Michael, a small soldier. Hello there, sir, and welcome. How long has it been? I think about two hours. Well, I'm sure I lasted that long. <laughs> welcome back, sir. Welcome back. Leonidas 971, why no one picks uh, Germany? I, uh, I'm going to talk about it uh, immediately. Give me a second over here. was just uh, finishing up uh, this. Let me also make... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Ivy, uh, we got to welcome Ivy with uh, open heart over here. Thank you so much. Um... A friend from real life of okay, showing up. Um, okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, first of all, to, I'm talking about Germany. The fact with the Germany is, unfortunately, Germany tends to shine in the later stages of the game, um, and uh, there are very few people that actually want to spend that time thinking about how they're gonna put uh, everything. Um, um, on the sim, on their sim, uh, so they get the maximum out of Germany's Hansas, the maximum out of uh, the commercials and so on and so forth out of uh, Germany. Uh, and Germany is kind of a different beast than other uh, civilizations when it comes to those uh, extra districts. Uh, most of the time, you just end up with like you flatten the land with uh, the districts, and uh, this is um, sometimes a bit uh, scary to see. Uh, for the players, uh, uh, sh having a civilization that shines uh, usually after turn 80, 90 is a bit too late in the game. Uh, they do prefer to actually have something that uh, will um, uh, pressure at the beginning, in the uh, middle and uh, of course at the um, end of the game. We're going to need to see if uh, and how this is going to show up over there. Um, if somebody is going to pick Germany. I've seen actually multiple games with Germany in which the players did go for different strategies. For example, opening up with uh, three encampments, I've seen uh, Task for Fish do it, and he managed to take out uh, Mongolia. You know what? Because he did the surprise attack on him. Mongolia was uh, making Pikachu faces when he saw um, a lot of units coming out from America, three uh, uh, encampments opening. The thing is, Germany actually uh, delivers when it comes to uh, different strategies that you're going to pick. It's mostly the players... Um, I would say um, a preference on this. We haven't seen that many players uh, try to make it shine over and over again. And there are situations in which you just cannot do it, especially when you're fighting against uh, uh, something like a Genghis Khan next to you or a Maori or uh, something with a lot of uh, bonus, you know. Michael, yes, Night Demon, good evening. Hey, what's up, man? With my uh, hello, there, sir, and welcome. Uh, but it's worse with the Netherlands in the same idea, but with uh, the rivers. Um, yeah, if you can do it, it is amazing. Yes, if you know how to do it and if you can uh, do it, yes, it is amazing. Also, with much pleasure, Ivy. Welcome, welcome. I do hope uh, you enjoy the show. Oh, we got a, we got a few people rejoining. Uh, zero MSs. We got we got them. Okay, we're, we're starting this. Woo! Uh, love me some Highlands goals. Yes, we got the goals. We got Pericles. We got Melik the second. We got uh, the Bull Wounds. We got Seondok, Seondok, uh, Seondok, 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 and uh, and Dido with Philip the second. I do really want to quickly uh, go through this. Um, on one side, we got Firsos. We got um, Leech. We got Chuck and we got Sprigante showing up today for Ulysses. On the other side, we do have Sandro Games, Hazagi, Xifi, and T-Tube um, for their roster, for the SUS team, the suspicious team. Ooh, man, is that game still alive, by the way? Is the is the game with the SUS, with, uh, however, uh, how is it called? How is it called? Still alive? Uh, are you guys still playing it? Uh, what do I think about the new BBG? We do have the remap predictions, by the way, Sistrion. I think you missed it, actually. Uh, all eyes on the Leech Preserve gameplay today. Yes, 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 Among Us, exactly. Wine and Nerdy, good evening, sir. Oh, I missed the messages. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, boy, new games. Yes, new game, new game. Yes, let's go. Um, Sandro for the win, we're gonna need to see if uh, he's actually gonna pull off a win, of course. In the first game, actually, it was Ulysses that managed to pull through. I don't know exactly uh, who played in that game, but I can find out. Give me, give me a second so I can scout around. Let's see... Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, it was a Sandro game that played in the first one as well, with T-Tube, Hazagi, and Xifi. And uh, Sandro was a France a Blackwing. It looks like uh, it didn't actually serve him uh, right. 
Among Us, yes, Among Us. Uh, we do have a T-Tube, uh, hopefully it gets a decent spawn this time. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna need, we gotta see, we gotta see. Let's uh, take a look from the northwest of the map and uh, keep on going. Uh, let's see, Sandro Games coming up with a Warrior. Uh, we do uh, have him moving to the west side. What is this double fur opening for Spain and triple continent split? Oh man, Sandro, man, somebody nerfed this guy, bro. <laughs> somebody nerfed this guy. Oh man, look at this. He has the sheep, to, uh, he has the 2 2 base, he has a good harbor, good campus next to him, multiple cities that he could settle east and west, of course, on the other continents over here. <laughs> oh, this is just perfect. Look at that. A city here, a city here. Oh man, oh man. A wonder to the northeast. Petra Delicate Arch. Can you imagine Petra Delicate Arch? Man, it's, I think, you know, one, one hour before the game, Sandro Games is praying. You know, he is doing his ritual over here so he can get a very good map. <laughs> what is this? Man? Again, he did it. Let's uh, move forward because we're go we're gonna we're gonna get mad about this. <laughs> Athens coming up with a two-two base uh, underneath his settle. He does have a scout coming up in three. Looks like um, he is gonna get. What is the second city on the cattle tile? Oh my God! Look at that. He can he can put a city over here on the two-two and get like one, two, three, four, five, six pastures, seven pastures with this one <laughs> in just one city. Imagine he gonna get open sky with this seven extra culture. Just just put a city down man look at that he also has like horses over here cattle over here nine culture just from open sky yeah i approve this message uh big hack is saying uh, i have been told that sandro sacrificed to <laughs> wait <laughs> well no no am uh, animals have been hurt okay no animals uh, no animals have been hurt and uh, everything is a uh, joke big joke big joke on the chat over here I don't want uh, Twitch to get the wrong impression that uh, Civilization 6 players are getting uh, undeserved advantages from uh, using uh, very old uh, ancient tactics. Cree, cree, cree. <laughs> no. Anyway, now let's see. Uh, southeast, we do have uh, Leech coming up um, with the city of Washington. He's gonna get a 4 1 uh, base from that Citrus style, and uh, does look like uh, he's gonna get a scout out in three. Now, uh, he does have, let's see, he's uh, okay. There we go. That's the lens I was looking for. I can't really say I enjoyed this spawn. He's gonna get a few uh, mountain ridges to the north and to the west side, and of course, we do have him uh, getting that eagle. He's gonna need to set. Uh, Oh my god, set a lot of preserves over here to actually make everything good. Um, he's not gonna get that many bonuses from the beginning, unfortunately. So, America, usually in Bulmus uh, in particular, does benefit from uh, that extra um, breathtaking tile. Uh, you can see the breathtaking tiles adjacent to either Wander or Woods, receive a plus one culture, double if complete, blah 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 blah. And the breathtaking tile next to a Wander sort of mountain, receive the science. So. He's not just not gonna get that many of those. He's probably gonna need to chop quite a few of these uh, rainforests to uh, make the land a little better. Put down the um, uh, put down forest uh, like re reforest all of that land and um, get the preserves going. Uh, not ideal. Can work. That's a lot of uh, work to do. We'll see if uh, he actually wants to keep this map. I'm pretty sure uh, he's uh, gonna um, uh, take a look. He's gonna decide if uh, it is worth it or not. He does have a uh, decent amount of uh, one tile lakes that he could use for fresh water. You can see the um, uh, dark green tiles over here. Uh, we do have uh, in the east side, we do have uh, Hazagi coming up uh, Gyeongju uh, with three tens for a scout. Looks like uh, he's gonna get uh, two, two uh, tiles uh, to work, and from what I can see, he's gonna get a decent amount of um, uh, hills to get to improve the mines and put those so-ons on uh, we do have him on the east side with a few mountains and uh, by the looks of it we do have him uh, to the north over here with a decent amount of uh, space uh, to go for the freshwater series and i think i missed oh i missed chuck i missed chuck we're gonna come back to check a little uh, later here right the next civilization Gyeongju getting that scouting three is gonna allow him to discover the land and i do see he's um, benefiting from a two one base a little bit suspicious over here, but it's all good. It's all good. 
We got also, let's see, Leonidas971, enable apocalypse mode to uh, blah 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 into volcanoes. Oh my god, are you talking about the burn? Uh, oh man, uh, deers and sheep that have fallen to the volcanoes. Oh man, like that, that's graphical images. <laughs> MS Doll, hello there, hello there. No Tom Brader. So where is Tom Brader, by the way? I, I, I've I seen him at the LAN and then I just never seen him. I, did, did, did he, I think he streamed a little bit in the in August. What did he do? Where did he disappear? Does somebody know? Maybe he's playing another game or something, by the way. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Let's take a look at uh, what's uh, going on over here. We do need to see uh, Inca coming up with uh, Cusco. He's gonna get his 2 2 base, and that's look like uh, he is uh, gonna get quite a few mountains to settle those terraces. Uh, and of course, uh, we do have him um, needing to place uh, multiple cities over here. I can't really say. Let me actually take a look over here. He has Bulmus to the southwest. Okay. Maybe he can get one of those uh, Capagnans, uh, his tunnels, uh, to. Um, uh, generate some gold with America. On the other side, does he have any uh, ally? Oh, he has Firsos to the northeast as well. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, of course, um, uh, gold deal, gold um, trade routes going through um, Capagnans uh, are quite fruitful. So we do need to see how Czech is going to want to play this. Uh, definitely something to uh, look at a little bit uh, later. Uh, let's see. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, we do have um, a scout coming up in one, a two to one. Uh, by the way, die style that he's gonna keep from uh, northwest. I do. We do need to see if uh, he is um, uh, gonna get. Uh, the first pantheon and what kind of pantheon he's gonna get um generating that faith from the beginning of the game does allow you to pick one of the first ones uh, let's quickly take a look at Firsos, Firsos Addis Ababa can't really say this itches me the correct way but he does have uh, quite a few times that he could uh, settle cities onto the south with fresh water and i'm pretty sure he's gonna try to go the religious way over here Firsos going for animal husbandry what Okay, okay, I, I see how it is. He does have a plus uh, three possible holy side that he, he could settle on the west side. I am not uh, worried about his adjacency here. I am worried about his opening. Uh, oh, well, we'll see, we'll see. He, he probably wants uh, the extra tempo that he's gonna get from uh, improving some of his tiles. Oh no, going mining. Is he gonna totally ignore the religion with uh, Ethiopia? Oh! Okay, totally different gameplay. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see, Gold coming up uh, with a 3-2 banana. He does have uh, four turns for a new settler. He does have uh, multiple amber turns to work for the northeast. And from what I can see, he's um, uh, gonna get a plus four opidum in the capital between the iron and the horse tile. He doesn't know about it yet, but he's gonna find out. He does have another four one uh, next to the stone tile, and of course, or I should say between the stone tile and the horses. Uh, I do see Pamukale on the west side where he could definitely settle a city. That is a freshwater wonder. And, uh, and uh, we do have uh, quite a few cities on the east side. There is also a continent split here. We can see the geothermals are a clear sign of a continent split. And he is going to get some uh, horses to um, generate some adjacency towards those uh, opidums there. Uh, last but not least, we do need to quickly take a look at Phoenicia. We are turn 7 and uh, we can't really spend that much time on each of the civilizations. We're going to spend it after we do know if um, we're going to have a golden age or not. Uh, looks in, uh, not a golden, sorry, <laughs> this map or not. Uh, I got distracted by a message over there. I received a message that says, uh, come on you. And I was like, what? <laughs> where, where, where? I want to pop in, bro. Where, where am I getting invited over here? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Now uh, let me see. Who did I miss? No? I mean, it must be. Oh, this is so weird. This is so weird. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're gonna pause over here and we're gonna need to see how this is gonna end up. I see an, uh, an extra point of uh, science from a tea tile underneath the uh, tires uh, city center. And we do have. Um, Etc. coming up in three it looks like uh, there is a decent amount of um, water to to develop not to mention on the east side he has a lot of water to go for the expansions um, Sprigan 
this might have actually quite a very strong mid to late game uh, he's also uh, next to allies he's uh, next to fiercers and i don't think he needs to worry about the uh, center games uh, for uh, the big from the mid game or even the uh, beginning uh, the middle and the beginning of the game uh, madrid is quite far away on the east side of that uh, water and of course we do see how much land there is uh, between them they're still thinking about it and hazagi is on korea yes hazagi is on korea he wants to smash something Bulmo's remap makes sense. Well, we're gonna need to see. I think I'm definitely thinking Leech can uh, pull this off. And yeah, they actually did not want to remap this. And can we imagine Sandro Games just gave up on this uh, two fertile spawn that he has, triple continent split? I is he that confident he's gonna get a new map with this good land? Is he? Boreal, good evening sir, by the way. Hello there, hello there. We do need to see um, also what kind of uh, adjacency they do have between them. Uh, one of the things uh, that uh, was happening, Sandro Games was uh, uh, distantly far away from uh, everybody. They didn't have uh, water connections between them. They couldn't get that gold god. Uh, and that was definitely a problem. Uh, Korea was uh, quite in the middle of his opponents over here, um, but uh, still far away from actually... Um, applying his power power that might have been um, one an argument argument yeah, who wanted the map on sas i don't know i don't know we can't uh, we can't see actually who wanted because all of them voted to go for it you know oh i see I see who gave it. No. Let me let me do something really quick over here. Really quick. No. Um, Korea was in a sticky spot, some good water in this uh, map. Yeah, there is some good water uh, on this map and we do need to see um, how it will be used. Uh, let me actually take a look over here. We got again Spain. Okay, guys, guys, let's do a quick check. Well, let's do a quick check. How many continents does Spain have next to him? Coming up from zero to four. Let, let's, let's, let's ask the stream chat. <laughs> Okay, we got an answer here. Lassie is apparently saying two. Do we have another one? Do we have another one? Maybe we're gonna do two, two, two. Oh my god, another one. <laughs> we got three. We got three. Can we go for four? Does anybody want four? Does anybody want four or one? Maybe one. Maybe one. Okay, we got one. We got front face coming up with one. Oh my god, I should actually go for um, how do you call those uh, things? Uh, two coming up for Polish. Okay okay so the majority of the chat is saying he's gonna have two of them let's press the button he has to the chat the wisdom of the chat knew what was up you know this is it we got two we got two we got two let's see and we do have a third one no we got two that's it and i gotta say this is actually quite nice land to develop his cities on on the southwestern side uh, he's uh, probably gonna go for commercials and i don't think he's actually gonna be that interested in uh, setting more uh, harbors over here uh, two is fair two is enough i gotta say on spain two is definitely enough uh, third one isn't far to the left yeah it is it is not valbara over here it is uh, gonna be like a screen away coming up on the west side also hello there polish good evening ma'am um easy easy peasy last is pale yeah he knew he knew man he, he knew we got sandro actually moving uh, away from the coast he's gonna go for his uh, stone settle over here on a 2-2 next to the mountains he does have a uh, good adjacency campus good adjacency um of course um a commercial and uh, i do believe we're gonna see uh, quite an interesting um Quite an interesting uh, adventure coming up from uh, Spain on this map. Uh, they did use the remap token, so only Ulysses has a remap token at this point. We're gonna need to check out every spawn and uh, take, you know, take a guess, a wild guess, if they want to keep this map or not. We got Spriggan coming up with uh, the city of Tyre. Looks like he's gonna get um, 
uh, scout out in uh, three and uh, by the looks of it uh, we do have him with um, four times this time uh, he does have a 2-2 two -two base a 3-1 banana if he wants to um, eat some uh, and i do see him uh, benefiting from a decent amount of water on the left and on the right side uh, this is uh, quite uh, enough water for him to develop his series i would say and uh, get a good a decent amount of uh, gold generated a uh, bit of a problem i don't think he actually has anybody oh maybe america america he can actually oh Yes, he can trade with America. Get silly on the on this one. Amazing, right? You get a two to one with a banana tile, one threes, and then you get a one on the market. Is get that connection going, and then send all trade routes to lead. Do -do. The gold is generally take on the right side. Exit stage left. We don't have a leech coming up with a new spawn this time actually i see a lot less uh, orange or um, uh, red tiles i see a few of them but not that many he does have a mountain tile in the capital looks like he's gonna go for his 2-2 base on a rainforest and uh, taking down that rainforest will actually increase a little bit a little bit um adjacency next to him i'm actually curious is he gonna go 2-2 base or cattle 2-2 base or cattle 2-2 base or cattle i think even leech right now is what am i gonna do I got two tiles to choose from both are amazing oh he's gonna set them in place okay so as you can see over here we do and we do not have uh, the oil tile being an um, orange one we do need to see how he's gonna actually improve all of these uh, and uh, of course we're gonna need to see how he's gonna set his preserves holy sites and so on and so forth it is gonna be quite an interesting um, game to take a look at a uh, pl play is play is better yeah might be uh, we do need to see perpetual motion lake indeed america floodplains lol what is that river uh, dino got enough space uh, yeah it is yeah definitely uh, we do need to take a look over here uh, to the northeast. What we have, Firsos coming up with uh, Addis Ababa. Uh, he is gonna get uh, Pamukale as the second city. Okay, Pamukale showing up another time in this. Um, I, how do we even think about this? Like, what are, are you gonna get? Awesome campus next to Pamukale, or are you gonna get awesome campus next to uh, Geothermals? Like the, 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 the options over here for Addis Ababa is just endless, you know, like they're, they're everywhere. We do have a builder coming up in two from him. He's doing the same opening. Um, first going for animal husbandry, then going for mining. Actually, this time he's going for mining because he wants to improve his stone tiles. Uh, and from what I can see, maybe uh, he is. Uh, yeah, he just bought a scout out uh, last turn. Uh, we're we're going to need to see. He doesn't know yet about the three horses he has on the east side, but he definitely knows about the three stone tiles. Looking at the south here, we do have uh, Cusco between mountains. You know, it's cozy over there. You know, we got a lot of uh, production uh, and food coming up from those terraces soon enough uh, from by Cusco. He does tend to settle a lot of those uh, or improve a lot of those um, uh, terraces next to the mountains and get all of the benefits from them. Uh, we do need to see how he's also going to try to get those capac nans. I do want to ask, by the way, I do want to double check, actually. The Capac Nan is the tunnel, right? You need to better to pop, 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 movement portal on a mountain range. Yes, yes, okay. I haven't uh, seen Inca in quite some time, and maybe, you know, sometimes with these uh, weird um, uh, names, or I, I, not usual names, not weird, not usual names. Sometimes I think, uh, you know, uh, I might make a mistake, and I don't want to. Uh, we do have him with multiple cities to settle north, west, and e south. Uh, he can definitely tunnel through and go uh, towards uh, Korea if he wants to. Uh, that's going to be an issue, though. Seondok um, might actually come against him. And uh, I think Chuck would do quite well to uh, keep away, try to keep those mountains um, intact and not put a Capagnan uh, to settle on the east. We do have uh, Korea coming up with Gongju, two scouts and a warrior to the northwest. Uh, we do have uh, two two base uh, coming up in the south, uh, one two two to the northwest. And I see by Titi. Oh my God! Citrus settle. Okay, check this out, guys. Hazagi. Hazagi gonna get the oranges. Oh. He gonna get the citrus, he gonna get the culture, the gold, the production on Paititi, like really bro? We do have him with uh, multiple horse tiles there and it looks like he can actually set up two cities uh, with fresh water on that wonder. We do need to see how he's actually gonna get uh, everything going. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see amazing stuff coming up from Hazagi. 
we do have next um, Adua Tuka. We're turn eight actually. We and this is the last one. I think this is the last one, right? We got Xifi, horses, iron, stone. Oh, no amazing opidum though. Like he can definitely work it. It's no amazing opidum. Um, oh, Athens. We didn't see Athens. Oh, right. We didn't see Athens. 3 2 banana. We got a 2 2 base. Uh, plus 3 campus to the northwest. I see possibilities for him to get uh, Acropolis between the campus and the city center. Uh, he didn't go coastal. And of course, uh, he doesn't actually get to trade with anybody anyway. Uh, but they could actually, they could. Ambiorix with uh, Pericles could trade on this uh, same water here. Yeah, no stone, no stone. That's a that's a big problem over here for uh, Gol. Uh, he does have a lot of hills, so that still works. Okay, the Nays have it. This is gonna be the map. This is gonna be the map. Okay, let's see. Now this uh, goes. Notamos, hello there, sir. Good evening. Etemenanki for Korea is strong. Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's that strong, uh, but let's see. In, in this scenario over here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not bad. Is Korea actually gonna get? So the only way this uh, Etemenanki is gonna be strong if he is gonna go for Lady of the Reeds and Marshes. If he's not going Lady of the Reeds and Marshes, I don't think there's. Um, I would say there's an incentive for him to actually get this. So we do need to see what kind of Pantheon he's going to get. And after that, we're definitely going to uh, know if he's going to get Temenanki or not. Uh, okay, this is the moment. First of all, I need to give the points. The points to whoever managed to predict it's going to be one. There's one voter that managed to correctly predict this, is on, and this game is only going to have one remap. And he got the points. There we go. Uh, two triangles of uh, teammates for support with one uh, player each out of on their own yeah it's a big uh, it's a big of a it's a bit of a challenge and we'll see how they're gonna fare with it okay second thing second order over here we do need to see um each of the players again and we're gonna need to uh, take a look at their strategic resources uh, their opening moves and uh, maybe their pantheons um but first, I do actually need to put the team names on the map, uh, on the screen, so we do know who is who. On the left side, we got the SAS team. And on the right side, we do have uh, Team Ulysses. Okay, there we go. We got them both. They're visible. They're visible. There we go. Now it's, they're visible. Um, and let's see, start prediction, who will win Ulysses or SAS team? This is 1-1 one, one at this point between these two teams. We got a uh, tie and uh, we're going to need to take a look if um, one will get an advantage from this and of course uh, from an early stage. Uh, we do need to see who's going to win this best of three series since uh, Team Ulysses did manage to win the first game. Team Sus, uh, the, Sus, the suspicious team won the second one uh, and got us to a third game. On the Highlands map, we're preparing ourselves for quite a long game over here. I hope you got your coffees, I hope you got your popcorn and we definitely need to go in. Let's see. The Sandro Games coming up with a setter going for the west side here. It uh, looks like he's gonna try to settle uh, probably next to the scout. Interesting um, choice to actually go for the west side instead of going for the south coast. Uh, we don't actually have him with a lot of uh, tutus to work. He's gonna need to spend some gold to um, get everything done. He does have an iron tile, three tiles away from the west, to the west of Madrid, one horse tile to the northeast, and I do see multiple stone tiles that he could uh, improve. Um, actually, from the beginning, I thought he's gonna go for the 2-2 two, two stones. Uh, looks like he did actually move one tile to the north on the right tile for the extra um, uh, food, which is uh, the same question that we asked about uh, the spawn of America, if he's gonna choose the cattle or the production. Cattle, production. America chose production, we got Spain choosing food. Uh, and of course, both actually have the benefits. With the food, you get more um, uh, citizens with uh, more population. With the population, you actually get to work more tiles. So in um, the later stages, you get more food, more um, production. Uh, we do need to see, of course, uh, what kind of pantheon he's gonna pick. Uh, that's uh, how we're gonna uh, 
know how he's going to specialize his uh, empire here. Uh, he's not that far away from the south, uh, from uh, Sprigante. Uh, Sprigante, as you can see, actually has a settler. Oh, moving to the north. Oh, man. Sandro. Is Sandro going to get this? I, I don't think so, right? Uh, let's see. It's uh, one move here, one move here. Yeah, it's not going to get it. Like, there's no way. No way that's going to happen. We do have uh, Sprigante coming up um, with a settler moving towards the north. He's probably going to settle on that 2-2 base. Uh, he does have another 2-2 um, base underneath uh, the capital city. And I do see a settler coming up in 3. Uh, does have a 2-2-1 uh, fertile. And I do see uh, the horses coming up to the from the south. Yeah, uh, looks like uh, he's gonna get a very strong city to the southwest over here on that citrus style. A lot of uh, one threes are gonna get to be worked, and he's gonna grow really quickly in the population. I don't think he knows about it, though. Honestly, I don't think he knows about it. That's why he actually uh, did not go south. Yeah, he does not know about the city. This would have been a much uh, faster uh, growth for his citizens. But anyway, it's fine. He does have a lot of cities to settle over here. East, southwest. Uh, does have um, that iron tile to the south in the third ring, and I do see a horse in the capital i like his uh, um his uh, reef that is placed between the cities he can definitely work something like um govern plots over here and give the adjacency towards those uh, campuses making both of them uh, plus fours uh, we do need to see um, America. He did start up with a second city to the east side towards uh, the 3 1 uh, cattle. And uh, that's a cattle or a rice? A rice, actually. That's a cat. Uh, that's a rice. Now, uh, I do see him uh, with another settler coming up in three turns. And he did start to put down his holy sites uh, first. We're going to need to take a look at his uh, religion when he's going to get it. And of course, we do need to see uh, when he's going to start putting down those uh, preserves. Uh, what kind of. Um, governors is gonna choose and so on and so forth it's been a while since we've seen um, america at work over here especially bulmos now uh, we've seen uh teddy rough rider yesterday uh, but bulmos it's a totally different beast we do have him with um, the capital uh, benefiting from horses on the east side the second ring uh, on the iron tile uh, three tiles away on the west side and i do see if he's gonna start to settle the north over here he's gonna get um, acquire i should say another two of these uh, horse tiles uh, to use um, well, let's see, uh, Kinka did already start to um, improve his uh, terraces, you can see actually he has 3-3 uh, three, three tiles to work, 1-4-2 uh, tiles also to work over here, and um, uh, he did settle his second city on a citrus to the north, Wilka Waman, oh, that's a sugar tile actually, not a citrus, uh, that's a 4-1, and he's using another 4-2 um, to the northwest that's a lot of food coming up uh, over here the population is growing incredibly fast uh he's gonna be quite uh, close to ethiopia from the north and you can see actually the first uh, pantheon one of the first pantheons have been chosen it's gonna be stone circles by ethiopia benefiting from an extra point of production and an extra point of uh, faith uh, on each of these uh, stone tiles you, you do know that ethiopia does benefit from an extra faith point on those uh, resources if i'm not mistaken uh, improved resources uh, improved resources provide plus one faith so you can see these are actually quite uh, very interesting tiles to work here hello medicine man hello there's a 017 <laughs> And we do have uh, the first traders also being put in production from Wilka Waman. He just popped a settler from his capital, going for a few more of these uh, monuments for the culture points. And I do see he's trying to stop Hazagi from moving too close uh, to his uh, cities. Uh, we do need to check out how uh, Chuck is going to want to play this a uh, little later. And we do have uh, the holy sites finally starting to come out of Ethiopia's land. Uh, Addis Ababa is going to finish one... Uh, uh, has already finished one it's a one only one single uh, adjacency though uh, point of adjacency and we got um, Ulysses Axum with a two faith adjacency for that second one of finishing up in two turns he's gonna get the great profit points and he's gonna um, uh, get a religion soon he does have in the capital city already four resources improved the three stone tiles are giving him a decent amount of faith from the beginning of the game already nine faith a turn uh, also with uh, the horse tile and of course he can get some more he does need to spend some gold though uh, what's this uh, 35 gold i believe uh, it's uh, gonna need uh, to get that stone tile in his empire and of course uh, get to improve it 
we do have uh, Pericles coming up with a three series opening. Uh, he doesn't have a penalty on it, but he does have uh, his two other series on the coast where he might actually get to um, uh, trade with uh, Xifi. Xifi just needs to get a harbor to the west side of Atu Atuka and they're going to trade uh, cap to cap. Uh, we're going to need to see uh, if that's actually going to be their plan. Neither of these civilizations are actually prone to a lot of um, trade routes. I gotta say, these are like this is like the worst matchup ever when it comes to actually having an economy. You know, even even one of these civilizations, if he would have gone for um, commercials from the beginning, it would be fine. But I don't think either of them want to go. And of course, Titiu, it's gonna prove me wrong. He's gonna try to go currency. <laughs> Let's go. He does know. Like somebody needs to go. Somebody needs to go, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, my job is also food, so I guess that's the same thing. We want food. Food, yes. Oh, you know what I ate before the stream? Oh, big cookies. Oh, look at that. Oh, very nice, very nice. I had my 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 grandma keeping me fat over here. People fat. <laughs> I I took some cookies. Uh, um, how to say? They're donuts. You know, like uh, homemade donuts. I, I took them to my neighbors, uh, and I because we had too many, and they were like, oh. My my god we're just going in we're just going in vacation we're definitely not gonna be beach ready and i'm, uh, <laughs> I'm like hey, yeah <laughs> look at me bro <laughs> you know <laughs> i got my belly <laughs> it's beautiful here october april just don't come uh, june september oh, it's too hot too hot crispy is this is it too hot Horse V Tower, they're so good, bro. So good. Even thinking about them, you know, I drool a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I like commercials first on Greece. You get the plus three commercials and the plus three acropolises. Yeah, makes sense. But, uh, and of course, uh, we did have a few complaints about uh, Greece in the previous games that sometimes um, uh, you do get. Uh, too much culture and uh, you, do, you do have to balance out uh, how you're gonna do the acropolises versus the other districts uh, you do doing the science as well and uh, definitely we do need to see how ttube is uh, gonna go for this uh, what do you think the best map type is for competitive pangea straight up pangea i i love pangea I, that, that's just me like i love playing pangea i love seeing pangea i love everything about uh, casting pangea and so on um but i gotta say 1v1 2v2s terra map bro terra map bro that that's just have you ever seen i know it's been some time since i actually got to stream terra map but oh man terra map bro <laughs> oh yes to <laughs> what three cities that's expensive bro no, you, you need you need one city, two cities, and you start to punch your opponent over there. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got a goddess coming up as a pantheon for uh, Greece. Uh, of, we do need to see if uh, he's going to try to do some shenanigans when it comes to... Um, monumentality era and uh, from what i can see we do have a monument coming up uh, soon from corinth another monument from ephesus uh, he does have a few reef tiles or i should say one reef tile next to ephesus that will will give him a good campus not to mention i really like this like plus three here plus five here very nice campuses very nice mountains for him Oh, Commander King just got dropped a sub. Grispy, thank you so much for the subs. Thank you. Uh, I'm in Minnesota and it's, uh, I think I'm in Minnesota, by the way, right? Uh, and it's too cold in winter. Oof. Yeah, I don't like the cold, bro. Like if I could stay around 20 degrees, 25 degrees every, uh, every time, like all year long, I would be so happy. <laughs> No, just don't, just don't make me shovel. <laughs> the, the, how to say the, um, how to say the, the snow everywhere. You know, I, I need to get one of those machines <laughs> taking out snow. Anyway, I think I deviated a little bit too much. Let's come back to uh, the game because otherwise we, we get to talk about uh, you know everything else, but not the game. Uh, God of Craftsman coming out as a pantheon for Korea. We do have him putting down his seons, and I do see he did settle his uh, second city chon -chon, <laughs> on the east side. Uh, we do have him improving his mines, getting that uh, nice and juicy extra. Um, Science is already on 15 science and 8 culture. Uh, we do have him. Oh, 
Ooh, Hypatia, he gonna get big cookie over here tonight. He's gonna get Hypatia first free library. He just needs to get the project or maybe not because he's generating a decent amount of points anyway. And um, he's gonna get the culture coming up from uh, Paititi. I do see him also getting a few uh, monuments in his uh, city so he can actually uh, be competitive when it comes to the civics as well as the science. Uh, looking at Goal, he did manage to get the fertility rights as a pantheon and looks like he is uh, quite aware that he's going to need to get a lot of food uh, coming around for his citizens and of course uh, getting his um, uh, cities to a higher population count. Uh, he does have a few rice tiles, a few wheat tiles, actually in the capital he would have three of them at the count. Um, not to mention we do have a few citrus tiles uh, on the east side that could give him some advantages. I see more wheat tiles in Tervana, that's actually quite a bit of food extra that he's going to get. We do need to see how he's gonna actually try to get those opidums going. Uh, it is gonna be a challenge to get the most out of your opidums, out of your districts and so on for the goal in this particular game. Uh, I can't say he's that far away from uh, Fonisha, from Sprigante on the east side. And of course they will clash uh, the later stage of the game. We're gonna have probably a two versus one going against Fonisha. Uh, and I'm pretty sure uh, Sprigante is aware of this. He's already getting pressured a little bit. You know, Sandro, you know Sandro games is a little bit aggressive with his moves from the beginning uh, and we do see a, a scout that did manage to sneak in into the Spanish territory here okay do we have more pantheons more pantheons no pantheon here for Phoenicia. he did put two cities uh, Biblos and Carthage uh, both to the north it looks like he's starting to scout that south and he is gonna discover the citrus settle oh my god that settle was the bed settle that's uh, well I know what he did why he wanted the north settles you got the chops, you got the tutus, uh, you got the positioning over um, Spain, you just don't let him run loose, you know, all over the map. You gotta keep him contained, bro, you know, you gotta keep him contained. And of course, on the east side, he definitely would do quite well to go for that um, geothermal fissure. It's uh, Greece, Earth, Goddess? Yes. Uh, wait, it's minus four degrees and snow there? Oof. Oh man, it, I'm brr, shivering already. <laughs> really? We're so happy, by the way. I'm so happy we got like 20 degrees, 25 degrees uh, in November. I'm so happy. I went today to my mom uh, to uh, drink a coffee and we, uh, we, we were sitting in the, um, how to say, outside the house. Oh man, uh, not on the porch. It's like uh, we got like a table next to the house and, uh, in the garden. And you're like, Oh man, no, internal, <laughs> you know, it's just, yes, not too hot, it wasn't like the sun wasn't uh, shining in our head, making us sweat anymore, not too cold, it was fine, you couldn't, uh, you know, feel a shiver or something like that, no wind at all, it was perfect, That's amazing. Now back to paying attention to the action. Go team! Yep, let's go, let's go. Wait, you're actually keeping with the sus team? Is, is this what it is? Is is that what you're saying over there, Crispy? Uh, you, you, you're cheating for uh, Hazagi, Sandro game, Sifi, Titu? Well, uh, do we have any Ulysses fans in the house? That's what I want to know. Do we have any Ulysses fans? Oh, you said it as a generic thing. <laughs> okay, I see. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, honestly, I thought, you know, maybe maybe we're gonna have some fans tonight. Fight, 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 you know? Yeah, there we go. We got one, we got one, we got Polish, definitely Ulysses fan. Woo! -hoo -hoo. <laughs> yes, let's go. We got uh, Leech coming up over here. We got uh, Firsos, Chuck, and Sprig that need to win this best of three series going against the SUS team. And I'm pretty sure we got some uh, SUS uh, team of fans in the chat on the other side. Definitely, definitely, we got. Um, a salty capybara. I'm pretty sure she wants to cheer for Hazagi. <laughs> 9C feels like minus 15 with wind. Snow has started. Oh my god. Minjack, thank you so much. By the way, 26 months. Amazing. And also, wait, minus 9 degrees. Oh man. That's a. That's a too little too no uh, oh, i don't even know what to say <laughs> that's too uh, too bad that's very bad that's very bad it's chili i don't know about chili <laughs> it's like your uh, your tears are probably just you know um how to say um 
Um, oh, oh, not melting. The other side, you know, they're, they're uh, getting uh, freezing. Exactly freezing. Oh my God! I was like, sorry, freezing. They're freezing on your face, no? <laughs> No, no, I no, not really at 40. Oh, oh my god, anyway, it, it depends how much wind, bro. <laughs> but this is this is too cold, too cold, man, too cold for comfort. Anyway, I don't know how you guys make it over there. It's unbelievable. Minus nine with minus 15. I mean, we we do have that uh, sometimes here in Romania, also. We got some uh, like periods in December, uh, January, and so on when we do have like minus sometimes minus 20, uh, but it's like. You know a few days not not a long time if it starts now like with minus nine what are you gonna do in a month is this gonna be like minus 30 okay let's uh let's see what uh, we got here four more turns until the next uh, walk uh, the next uh, age it looks like the ancient and is gonna um, uh, finish soon and we do have uh, the players uh, getting their uh, pantheons god of war and plunder picked up by uh, uh, sandro games no surprise that he opened up with um, commercials uh, doesn't have a lot of uh, pre-built commercials from what I can see, he has a Magnus establishing in the city of Madrid, two cities on another continent to the west side, Valencia and Cordoba, and uh, he's getting a few more builders, a four setter going also for somewhere in the north. Uh, interesting choice that he doesn't actually want to get the fourth city to the south. I would have expected him to go here. Um, probably this uh, scout of Phoenicia did make him change his mind. Of course, ideally, he does want to get a city on one continent, put Manex in, and then every other city on the other continent uh, will and the trade routes toward that city. I think Phoenicia can stick in the middle uh, between those two puddles and uh, stay pretty protected for a while. Lake Missile Cruiser Strats, yeah, I think so. Yeah, Ekaterinburg once it was minus 45, my face froze, would not recommend. Yeah, when I have, I okay, so I wear glasses, right? Uh, so uh, getting different temperatures it's very bad for me like if i even in the summertime i have sometimes this problem but in the winter is the worst when you get to like minus 15 degrees minus 20 degrees outside and you you go somewhere that has like 20 25 degrees instantly <laughs> it's foggy you know you can't see anything <laughs> it's so bad but uh, anyway uh, we a few years ago me and my friends uh, got um one of those um, how to say um, uh, new year's parties somewhere uh, around the uh, the city center the old city center in uh, bucharest which was like a very fancy something something you gotta dress up really really cute and some and really good and uh, so on uh, kind of places and it was in a special building very old building that is um, how to say um, well no let's see like that and man i i had to park my car uh, around five minutes seven minutes walking distance from that place because that's the only uh, only place um I could go uh, downstairs and i already uh, understood that i'm not gonna uh, drink that evening so <laughs> I walked there, I couldn't even see in front of my eyes, man. <laughs> so it was not only chilly, like minus 20 degrees, but uh, also extremely windy. And we had like wind gusts of like, um, I, I don't know how many kilometers, so I don't want to speculate, but extremely strong. And you like you feel, you felt them move, you know, on the street. And everything was uh, like, I, I, my, what to say, my uh, face was freezing and that's when I uh, came with the idea. I, even my, like, I, my eyes were uh, in tears and my tears were freezing on my face, you know. It was bad, really bad. I went in <laughs> and there was somebody at the door <laughs> that was trying to do the checklist, you know, like, you, you, the invitation list, and, and like, uh, whatever, the member list. <laughs> I couldn't even see in front of my eyes. If I take my glasses off, I can't see <laughs> anything. <laughs> oh my God, what, what an experience. Okay, so uh, coming up with um, America, he did go for religious settlements as a... Mm, 
pantheon here and i do see him with a great prophet uh looks like uh, he is uh, gonna get a hanging guard that's coming up from philadelphia uh, he started getting some of these one one tiles uh, of course the extra culture and the extra um, uh, science so this is breathtaking yeah that that's it breathtaking and i'm pretty sure he's gonna want the northeastern one as well uh he's also gonna need to probably um, get quite a few wonders and i'm thinking if he went wonders here he's probably gonna try to go for something like sacred places uh wouldn't be that bad actually he he won't need to um, how to say, invest that much into his holy sites, but I do believe uh, going for uh, religious settlements might have been a mistake. Maybe Greece actually got the Pantheon away from him. He probably wanted to get something like Earth Goddess, and that would have definitely been uh, strong on uh, America. What do you guys think? Was this from Greece? Was Earth Goddess uh, actually a counter? I think it was a counter, right? Uh, we do have, of course, uh, Leech uh, waiting for the Holy Site to finish so he can activate the religion once he um, gets the Holy Site in a second city. So he's gonna actually, he got the Holy Site in three cities uh, so he can actually get that going. Interesting that he's still waiting for this. Is he just waiting for the next era? Does he have that many uh, points? that too many points yeah he i think he has too many points he's on 28 out of 19 era score over here okay i think i, I think that's the problem he has too much too much era score anyway i i believe everybody did get their gold range options we got this going on and we're gonna need to see oh never mind never mind he is gonna activate it now we we got to see the religion ethiopia did go for feed the world with the lay ministry he's gonna get his strangers and temples getting him uh, that plus one, uh, free food and of course the um, housing and lay ministry is gonna give his holy sites extra uh, faith and um, culture for the theater squares while on Hinduism, yeah, we do have the China religion, divine inspiration, sacred places. It looks like uh, we're going to have some extra science, extra culture, extra uh, gold, et, 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 coming out, etc., etc., coming out from the wonders. He does need to build quite a few of those, and we're going to need to see what uh, he's going to choose to go for here. I uh, would uh, really think he's going to go for a series on the northwestern side. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have a lot of fresh water there. Uh, we'll see how he is going to choose to develop his cities, how he's going to improve, and when is the preserve time coming? We do have uh, four cities uh, Inca with City Patreon Goddess the, as a Pantheon. He did put down already three of these uh, commercials. I see a fourth uh, one coming out from Olantine Taibo. Uh, and of course, uh, a fifth settler also coming out from his cities. He does have a decent amount of production. Actually, from the beginning of the game, he is uh, 44 production. has more production than uh, Firsos on uh, Ethiopia. Of course, uh, Firsos does have uh, 41 uh, faith to go, and that's uh, gonna turn into a decent amount uh, of um, faith as well, of production as well. Uh, we do have also Korea keeping up the choke point to the east of uh, Inca, and I believe uh, now should be the time that we should take a look at uh, everything here. Let's see, how is this going? <laughs> well, I, we got Penbrush and Voice Golden Age with uh, Philip II. Looks like uh, he's gonna get the traders going. Uh, commercial hubs, uh, okay. I see he did settle a non freshwater city to the north. That's a bit. Uh, uh, well, it is what it is. The commercial hubs are a bit late already. Inca is starting to uh, chew through the merchant points quite quickly. And we're going to need to see uh, probably Sandro Games get a few projects going. Uh, Hazagi Pembrush and Voice Golden Age with the Seans already activated. 21 science, 21 culture. Uh, will probably manage to get Hypatia in the next two turns. Nobody is actually contesting it. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to uh, spend the production on those um, points. And we do have uh, more settlers coming out from his cities. I do see he's improving his uh, sugar tiles. So he's probably going to give a few of them away. And uh, getting uh, at least a horse. He's probably going to want to get um, classical unit to defend. Uh, little better move a little better give his uh, series more strength uh, magnus uh, coming up um, in five in guangzhou and of course he does have more builders uh, in the other cities that will start to improve the mines giving him the extra um, science uh, uh, points. Xifi, Penbrush and Boys Coldenish, uh, three cities on uh, the goals. He does have uh, to the northwest uh, the settlers and I do see a uh, builder coming up from uh, Duatuka. Now we do have him going for the east side on Samara Briva and um, from what I can see, uh, Xifi already started to get uh, quite a few opidums. Uh, plus um, four over F plus three, sorry. Uh, it's going to be a plus um, 
Yeah, never mind. It is a plus three. Uh, he's going. I hope. I hope he's gonna get more better ones better ones uh, plus two over here plus two over here unfortunately he's uh, gonna get his cover plaza to try to increase those and from what I can see uh, he's gonna need to Im improve his strategic resources at the moment he does have his iron improved he doesn't have uh, his forces at all we got T-Tube, a Monumentality Golden Age on uh, Pericles, so looks like he is gonna try to use that uh, fra uh, that um, Earth Goddess, that Faith Generation for something, and he is opening up with the uh, commercials, not going for the extra culture from the beginning. Uh, we, do need, we do need to see how he's gonna actually uh, get his uh, population in Athens to a seventh pop, so he can actually settle uh, an Acropolis and, um, or I should say place down an Acropolis and a Gavron Plaza. We do have um, him with the stringers to the south, builder also to the southwest of uh, Ephesus, and of course uh, I do see he's uh, gonna start to chop a few of these tiles. Uh, some of them actually, have, especially these, um, I would say, uh, uh, rainforest tiles uh, do decrease the appeal, unfortunately. So you don't usually need to take them down, uh, but unfortunately, uh, chopping tiles down with Earth Goddess, uh, oh well. It's not usually a good thing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Spring coming up with uh, Dido. I, I'm sorry. I was uh, thinking. I'm thinking of three things at once, and uh, I need to come back. I need to reconnect. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sprigante coming up with eight science and 21 culture. We do have the gay sate coming up uh, next to him, and Baron Lucevet uh, Phoenicia unfortunately is in a pickle. Uh, you can see the gay sate does have so much damage. That is three, three strength. That is three strength on the slinger. Can you imagine if uh, Xifi is? Um, gonna attack into that uh, unit uh, from the beginning and uh, try to smash it down a uh, sprig over here uh, might actually try to shift under it on um, uh, the iron tile and that's gonna get away from uh, get the geisate uh, the geisate will keep on moving and he's gonna get shot by an archer it's all a matter of the moves here but i do believe uh, sprig is probably gonna get the shift under out of there uh, in time uh, there is a korean uh, scout coming from the south that is trying to get there trying to block the, um, the settler's path and might actually force the settler on to settling the 2 1 instead of uh, going anywhere differently. Yeah, we do have a tire getting Temple of Artemis. Uh, looks like uh, Sprig over here. Yeah, there we go. Did move. Saki. It's Saki. Okay. It's okay. He's getting in there. He's getting in there. Yeah. Oh well. We'll see. Uh, Aziz did get settled on the west side, and it looks like um, uh, Hazag is not gonna wait for uh, Fornisha's uh, settler to actually move away out of this. This is a oh my god, oh my god moment. <laughs> what is he gonna do? Is he gonna move back his settler? He is a hundred percent gonna lose this slinger. Like there is no way that he's gonna save that slinger. He, he can move uh, the settler on the archer and uh, of course the archer will have a little bit more strength you can see it can actually withstand a few hits from the geisate i'm pretty sure uh, sprig would actually need to uh, get a new unit over here to help him uh, defend against this he is trying to get a scout out uh, that's going to come out next turn and uh, might actually give him the necessary um, strength to withstand this um, i do have to point out the scout of hazaki does have the alpine movement promotion he's going to get uh, extra movement through the hill terrain uh, crispy also settling to the Felicia settling to the west dangerous could be yeah uh, Xifi is not gonna wait for this look at that he, he sees those Phoenician cities he's like Ching -ching, you know if you move the pair back and get iron on, uh, get the archer on the iron he can uh, slave uh, save the slinger you mean if he moves the slinger with the settler back over here that nah, that's he didn't yeah, he did not and the settler is coming out looks like uh, he is gonna get that uh, scout out i think he did buy the scout oh uh oh man i i'm actually quite curious uh, hazaki didn't uh, attack into the slinger the slinger is still alive the slinger is alive and we do have a spring getting a scout there and trying to get it and of course to get it to the location Okay, let's go next. We got Chuck coming up over here with the five cities. He did settle uh, quite next to, uh, quite close to Ethiopia. Uh, we do need to see how he's uh, gonna also try to get those uh, connections towards uh, Firsos. 
Yeah, Jack is on a 14 signs and 21 culture with a 21 gold a turn, 58 production, the most production out of the game, even more production than Xifi. A lot of food coming out of this series does mean uh, he's gonna get a lot of population. With the population, more tiles to work, more tiles to work means more production and so on. Uh, we do have him uh, serving a few campuses in Kara and he started uh, chopping quite a few tiles here. We do need to see how he's gonna try to also maximize the um, production of these tiles. I gotta say, uh, there is a possibility to use uh, something like Aquadax for example to get the uh, extra production towards um, uh, the terrace farms adjacent to them sometimes though you just don't have uh, enough of them to make it worth for example in this case Cusco can aqueduct next to the mountain and get and can get adjacency towards the uh, three of these uh, tiles three terraces one two three I don't think you can place a uh, aqueduct here though right it needs to turn around or can you there's like, there's a rule over here, uh, prohibiting some placements of the aqueducts. If you, um, anyway, we'll see. And we do have a commercial hub investments coming up from him. He's uh, trying to get the uh, merchants and uh, we'll see how it is. As far as I know, you can, unless it's uh, BG, BG? And Voltaire, good evening, ma'am. Hello there. Uh, BBG, no, I think uh, you it's uh, from base game this is from base game you, you, there are some positions in which you cannot place uh, the aquarium yeah we got Inca we got Inca Jack coming up here we do see uh, Coles also picked up as a merchant the next one is gonna be Marcos Licinius Crassus that's you know three tiles 90 gold not bad we got him going for audience chamber from his uh, car from Platz and I do see Moksha is going to establish in Wilka Woman. Uh, Leech coming up with uh, 13 science and 26 uh, culture. He's still on three cities and um, he did manage to get two settlers out. One going to the, towards the south and one going towards the northeast of New Orleans. We do have uh, Hinduism as a religion for him. We talked about it. Sacred places with... Um, a divine inspiration and he did plug in moksha in the capital going for uh, theater square quite early on uh, with uh, the government plaza coming up to the southwest of that capital city i do see he finally got the first preserve and he's starting to get um, uh, a little bit more of these uh, breathtaking tiles to work of course he did get um, uh, hanging gardens in the city of philadelphia and i do see he's uh, starting to get that uh, nice and juicy extra culture there uh, only 40 production at the moment he's actually at, uh, the weakest um, when it comes to the production we do need to see how he is gonna try to um, enrich this get more more points Firsos coming up with uh, monumentality golden 16 science 26 culture we do have him with uh, 48 production for cities uh, ethiopia he did go for uh, Feed the World with um, uh, Shrines and Temples, Lay Ministry, each Holy Site and Theater Square District. Uh, and uh, from what I can see, he is uh, getting Theater Squares from Axum. Um, he is starting to get his one trader to go for. I'm quite curious if he's going to go internals or uh, going externals here. Uh, he did finish his uh, Gavron Plaza to the southwest where it uh, finished an audience chamber. I do see him uh, benefiting from those rock hands, the one, two, six styles. Uh, are actually going to give him a lot of adjacent, a lot of um, faith here. He's already on 71 faith a turn. We're turn 37, 71 faith a turn. Uh, this was uh, another one of the powers of Ethiopia. We're going to need to see if uh, it's uh, actually going to matter that much in the long term. Uh, I do like that he did actually go for Oracle. If he's going to start to um, open up with a lot of theater squares and so on, uh, he does have uh, quite a few chances of um, keeping up with everybody else's um, science, um, culture and of course managing to um, put up a lot of defense when it comes to the um, culture victory screen Whew. Uh, Hazagi actually very surprisingly again we do have uh, somebody else other than the ghost getting the most production out of the game uh, looks like uh, Korea is gonna try to go for, to kill Samarkand in the south that's uh, why he was getting those horses we found the target uh, going for the chamber as well from the capital city um good night and good night and we do have slow now coming here and good evening sir hello there uh, these pigs uh, seem to be very different from the last games i watched is there a reason for that that's a good question we did have a few days ago actually two days ago the new version of bbg and i think some of the players are trying out uh, the civilizations uh and uh, still they want to um, see if they do manage to push a win with um, out of the box civilization 
Uh, I think UDC it just wanted to throw a curveball and see if it gets uh, past uh, sus. I guess uh, that's what you meant, right? Gets past sus. Yeah, it might be. We'll see how it is. Let's uh, quickly check out the city states, but I do want to take a look at the war maneuvers. We got Spain over here getting horses. We got Fonisha getting horses. Uh, Biruta did get settled. Uh, that you know, uh, our heart jumped a little bit, but then it settled down. It's fine. Uh, let's see, city states. We got Brussels, Auckland, Johannesburg, and uh, Hong Kong coming up for the industry. Uh, it looks like uh, we're also gonna have. Um, Antananarivo with the Caguana coming up for the culture bonuses. Um, then Gazargamu, Kabul, and Granada will be the ones uh, providing the military. And uh, Hatusa looks like it's being sued by Hazagi. Of course, that's Korea uh, getting the science bonuses for him. Samarkand and Mogadishu are the only two trade uh, bonus uh, city states, and one of them is actually. Um, Sus by Chuck, that is uh, Inca's city state. I am pretty sure Inca doesn't want to keep that city state, uh, even though Samarkand, no, it's gonna fall. Oh, wait, Samarkand, no, Samarkand, oh, okay, okay, I see. Hazaki just wants to take it out for the take uh, for the sake of taking it out, okay. I mean, it does provide you a decent amount of um, pro, uh, gold, but really, is it worth to spend so much production on Samarkand? Maybe, maybe. He definitely thought it's worth uh, trying new things. I like it. Yes, yes, me too. We got the commercial hubs uh, coming up from Cusco and Kitukara coming up with a um, commercial hub investment as well. They're trying to be as um, competitive as possible when it comes to those uh, credit merchants. You can see actually Spain did manage to get the 37.9 points uh, to get Marcos Licinos Crassus. I'm pretty sure he doesn't actually want to recruit that one, uh, but he will probably pass it along. And of course, um, Greece with Inca will uh, sit there and try to get uh, the next one. We got more cities coming up from um, Ethiopia. I just saw him uh, settle another city here, Adva. And the first source is starting to uh, chop a few tiles. Interesting choice uh, to actually get those uh, chops going on, even the copper tiles, uh, getting only the gold. I did settle also the city of uh, Dana to the southwest. And uh, I'm still waiting to see where we're going to see a Capagnan coming up from uh, Chuck. Uh, maybe here would be an interesting choice. Maybe here would be an interesting choice. Uh, depends on how the road will go. And I'm pretty sure uh, he's going to start. Um, first, he's going to go internals. He does have Governor Magnus um, in the, uh, established in the city of Cusco. And uh, we're going to need to see how and when he's going to choose those um, external trade routes to go. At the moment, he is doing 66 gold a turn, coming up with the 19 science and 33 uh, culture. I do see uh, he's doing quite well in both of uh, aspects of the game. I got to say also I'm a bit worried about T-Tube. T-Tube is on the east side of uh, Ethiopia. He's also to the north of uh, Korea. That's um, his ally. The biggest problem about uh, T-Tube is the fact that he doesn't have a lot of uh, land to go for. You can see actually he maybe get a few cities towards Korea, but that's going to take away cities from Korea, city spots from Korea, or go west. That's going to put him directly in the face of Ethiopia. I can't really see him going for either of them. He's probably going to want to stay f behind the mountains. And that's going to mean he's going to put a lot of um, coastal cities or freshwater cities towards the east side. Definitely not ideal. I do see him also starting up uh, to have quite a few trade routes. He did go for Magnus Internals, getting a settler coming up in two. And I do see uh, markets also for some extra, uh, some extra trade routes. I will do see... Oh, oh somebody actually picked Marcus. Marcus! It was Inca that picked both of them, Marcus Licinus Crassus and Zankiang. The fact that he did finish two of those uh, pro um, uh, how to say, um, projects did give him enough points to actually go for the extra trade route capacity one. The next one is going to be Marco Polo and we do have uh, Spain with 11.5 points. Inca is on 5.7. If he doesn't start uh, right now to actually get... Um, yeah, the commercial uh, hub investment that's not gonna work he's not gonna get enough points it's definitely gonna be a free trade route for a big spain over here of course uh, big spain would definitely benefit a lot from those uh, internal trade routes Sandro games uh, does get the double yields uh, if uh, he's going on different continents and he does have uh, three of his cities on different continents uh, working quite a few markets and commercials at this point uh, between uh, Chuchuko and Dair Dava, uh, you're talking about the Capagnan? Chukuto. 
Oh, you mean Chuquito? Yeah, this one? Yeah, yeah, this this could be another good one as well, definitely. Oh, I gotta give me a second here. For some reason, like a few days ago, I wanted to, um, how to say, uh, I wanted to sleep a few hours because I had um, uh, to participate in the SIF show, uh, which starts at one o'clock my time. So I had to get some sleep before that. Otherwise, I would have been whoo, totally out of uh, the blue there. So um, I did uh, sleep between nine and 11 I, and I still have my um, uh, alarm set for 11. My phone wanted to go off. Din, 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 doo -doo. Yep, it is what it is. Uh, what do we have here on goal i don't want to see how he's uh, playing this out he does have a challenge in front of his face with uh, not that very good opidums uh, he's starting to get a few horsemen out and i do see he in the city of tervana he did manage to build that um, pyramids giving him uh, his empire one free builder and getting um, an extra builder charge on the, the upcoming builders very good value coming out of that uh, he does have um, quite a few mines also getting his uh, nice and juicy culture he's on 14 science and 39 culture uh, with um, six production but like i gotta say you can actually uh, see it for yourself hazagi and sandro games both actually have more of that uh, coming for them um also i got i am quite impressed of hazagi's um, yields we got 48 signs for him 40 culture uh, he does have uh, paititi to actually give him that nice and juicy culture got moksha in there and uh, from what i can see the extra production from his god of craftsman is serving him quite nicely did manage to take over the city of samarkand and now he's gonna get a city in that tundra now very curious that he wanted to keep the city it looks like uh, it is what it is it's uh it's not gonna grow that tall but he's uh, gonna get some uh value from a seon we do have him with um, a possible spy style that he could uh, get to the southeast and of course uh, at least he's gonna have a few um horses that might need to defend against an incan push uh we do need to see also if uh, ethiopia is gonna think about any kind of war moves i don't actually think him uh, see him on a war path here even if he's gonna get a lot of uh, face generation going he does uh, probably want to get tall series get his sim going and um I uh, try to get a lot of um, uh, culture with the tourism. Uh, from what I can see, uh, we do have Firsos on 26 science and 41 culture. Shouldn't be that far away from getting his monarchy. Of course, uh, did fi just finish recorded history and uh, with the extra culture that he has uh, coming out, uh, going for the monarchy is going to allow him to get the Grandmaster Chapel. That's why I'm thinking about it. Uh, maybe he's going to want to get some um, or almost to go and push. Maybe, you know, you know just stress out a little bit T-tube sometimes, even if you don't actually you know you're not going to successfully push somebody um you should try to push him just a little just just a little bit oh man my it's on my tongue to actually say something but uh no <laughs> no hey we got preserves coming out from a liege with uh, quite a few uh, bonuses we got also colosseum finished in the city of new orleans he did stop uh, settling he's on five cities and we got Legion 31 science with 54 culture, 43 faith a turn, getting those preserves is going to help him uh, get more science, get more food, get more production. Uh, you can see he's also getting uh, generating a decent amount of faith uh, next to the city of Philadelphia. Uh, would need to actually plant some woods on the east side and I'm pretty sure he's going to need to do the same here next to New Orleans. Um, I do see he settled the city of Boston to the northeast and uh, from what I can see he's doing the double preserve preserve oh my god preserves in a line okay interesting uh, choice to go for but uh, it is what it is we gotta see also uh, the builders uh, what are they gonna choose to go for on the west side he does have a decent amount of land uh, to settle on and not amazing one but he still has a few mountains that he could go for definitely this one uh, this uh, settle over here would be nice uh, for him uh, multiple times with breathtaking appeal could chop the rainforest take them down and of course uh, increase the appeal of those ones 
And we do have also um, uh, Pericles to watch out. Uh, we got a campus coming up from Athens. Interesting location, by the way. He didn't want to um, uh, put it on the plus uh, three. He's still going to get a plus three between his um, Acropolis and, of course, the capital city. And uh, I'm pretty sure that it's a race to go on and to go for the first writers. We got Greece with 5.7 points. We got America coming up with 3.4. Ethiopia is going to be the one 6.9. And I, we're going to need to see how uh, this... Um, develops here we got uh, andre rublev coming up as an artist with 3.4 great artist 1.1 great artist points as well 2.3 okay so uh, a few of them are actually starting to get these uh, great profit points alongside uh, with the artist and the musician points okay let's see uh bob 17 hello there how are you doing hey we got a white oh white and nerdy 22 evil <laughs> Nerdy, when did you go for the evil one, bro? Come back to the light. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, man. Did you guys... Are you guys watching Andor? It's the new series on uh, Disney+. Plus. <gasps> Andor, Andor, Andor. <claps> oh, man. You're on episode four? Wait, how are you? On? It's. Oh, wait. No, I don't get it. Are, are you like you only have four episodes or did you just get to episode four? Because there's like nine or ten episodes already. <laughs> Sprig actually asking uh, Sandro if they're uh, long term over here. Oh, I see. I see. You, you want to binge watch them. You want to you wanna watch them in the series. But that's, I think, episode four is about when it's uh, starting to get interesting, actually. Like five. Oh, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. But it's amazing. You, you got to watch the next ones. It, it's getting better and better. And like, why is it not, you know, just dumped in a series? Like, I want to I wanna see them all in a line. And you know exactly what you're waiting to go. yeah we got uh, campuses coming up from valencia for spain he did manage to discount his uh, uh, that one uh, it's uh, two turns to get it and uh, uh, from what i can see uh, spain is uh, starting to expand to the east side that's still gonna be on the oceania um I would say uh, continent. I'm still quite surprised he didn't go for the southwest uh, south one uh, he does have a good campus with a good harbor even uh, could get um, commercial if he wants to across that mountain from what I can see, uh, he does have audience chamber in the Grafana Plaza going for taller cities. And I do see him uh, getting quite a few markets out. Who did manage to get Marco Polo? Uh, that was indeed Spain getting himself a free trader. And of course, uh, the foreign traders to the city provide him the plus two gold. A lot of um, writers just got pa picked over here. We got uh, Ethiopia with one, America with one, Greece with one. And uh, of course, there's still only one available. We're gonna need to see. Or is it two? One or two available? Is it four in the first era or is it five? When medieval fairs are for uh, Bulmos? Uh, medieval fairs for Bulmos uh, shouldn't be that far. Didn't he get it already? Medieval fairs? Because he's. he's uh, give me a second. Where is Bulmos? Bulmos. Uh, medieval fairs two times. Medieval fairs two times. We got an amphitheater coming up from um, Washington, and that's the place, of course, to uh, activate that great writer so he can get it over there. We got a setter in two turns coming up from Philadelphia. He's starting to uh, finally expand a little bit. He got a horse to improve uh, his uh, garrison defense everywhere, and I do see him going for more groves from uh, New Orleans. Uh, Boston is uh, get, gonna get another one of these builders, uh, but uh, is this from Boston actually? That is from Boston. And why did he stop and not finish it? It's still under construction. The preserve is still under construction. Interesting. I was thinking he's going to finish it already. What do you think, guys? Did he make a mistake over here to put the preserve in such a way instead of putting it, for example, over here next to the mountains? Did he, did he make a mistake?
So everything is peaceful, uh, peaceful up to now. Yeah, I think everything is peaceful. Uh, there was so that there, there will be some sparks flying between Spain and uh, Spriga. Uh, both of them actually have horses right in the front line. They're watching each other. Looks like um, we do have uh, Sandro Games uh, making a move over here. He did put down an encampment. That means he is gonna try to get at least a general. We got also Inca generating uh, general points uh, right here between uh, Wanaku and Wilka Woman. He does uh, probably need to defend himself against Korea. And he knows that Chunk is on 42 science with 52 culture. Definitely getting uh, very good yields uh, coming up from his campuses and um, commercials. He's getting the gold. Uh, Penbrush and Voice uh, giving him that extra nice and juicy culture from each of these districts. And of course, we do need to see if he's going to manage to keep up um, uh, during the next part of the game with Hazagi 66 science and 51 culture. I do see he's definitely keeping up when it comes to the production. But I gotta say, a at this point, Ulysses is a little bit of head of. Uh, their opponents with the production points 122 112 110 only Liege is coming up with a short with a 79 but he does have uh, the faith to make up um, the difference uh, Phoenician would have none of that though road is uh, sort of wanted to change uh, teams oh really oh uh, just a little skirmish over a Phoenician settler oh right there was a Phoenician settler over there that was a little bit undecided where he's gonna go uh, Biruta did get settled and uh, we can see a god of the sea chosen as a pantheon here for uh, Sprig uh, he did manage to get uh, quite a few of these uh, improved but I'm, I'm extremely surprised he didn't go for this coast by the way I'm extremely surprised. He's still gonna need to get a lot more settlers, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to settle like there's no tomorrow. Now, he is between two opponents, between uh, Ambiorix and, of course, uh, Philip II. Both of them are settling uh, next to him. And the city of Ziz was just not a city that I would have thought he's gonna place. I would have definitely thought he's gonna go east more than west in this situation. Uh, since he did finish Temple of Artemis, I do like how for, uh, he did place those uh, theater squares uh, next to it and uh, getting that uh, nice and juicy extra um, culture. And I'm actually quite surprised we didn't see something like, uh, I would say, uh, campus focus here. Uh, Sprig did manage to arrive at 35 science with 60 culture next to Sandro Games 22 and 35 and of course uh, Xifi's 25 and 54 is um, definitely having more than both of them and as you can see over here we got Xifi still working on his production tiles getting a few campuses going gold is just not gonna be on his side he's on uh, five gold a turn and uh, Xifi is probably gonna rely on his allies to give him the gold necessary for anything we do have uh, Sandro Games coming up with 49 gold a turn. Uh, Hazagi is also on 22. I gotta mention, uh, Korea is not well known for actually getting a lot of um, uh, gold per turn. But I, oh, I gotta mention something else. Ete Menanki coming up from Guangzhou. I believe there was somebody in the chat over here. Who was it? There was somebody in the chat that said uh, Ete Menanki is definitely gonna be a good one. Might be a good one there. Notamus! Hello there. Uh, Notamus, are you still here, sir? There we go, I scrolled up, found out, found out who was the one with the golden tongue over here. He called it out. We might actually see um, Hazaki getting a lot of benefits. He did not go for um, Lady of the Reeds and Marshes, but still he's going to get a decent amount of uh, bonuses. Yeah, and they decided to go west instead of heading east. Yeah, yeah, they did. I guess um, he's not here anymore. He not here. He did not wait for Big Temenanki to finish, for Hazagi to settle it, to build it, to create it. Wonders are so cool. Yeah, they are. Oh, turn 48 granary in Axum. Okay, yeah, we got more holy sites. Oh my god, he's actually getting f the food and the granaries, really? Okay. We got uh, more of these uh, theater squares uh, coming up uh, between them. And of course, um, with Oracle, Ethiopia is going to get a decent amount of great writer points. Uh, yeah, there we go. We got five writers. Actually, in the first one, Ethiopia did pick up the fourth one. And we do need to see who's going to pick up the fifth one. Uh, Ethiopia still has a decent amount of points, but I don't think he has enough uh, to actually get this. Maybe a chop somewhere? No, he can't. 
No, he can't. He does. Oh, he does have two chops in Alpha, but does not a three with uh, Theater Square. It's unfortunate. I don't think he has enough uh, faith either to actually uh, buy it. He has only 193 faith a third. Faith uh, here. Yeah, Ozdemir Berg. Hey, uh, what is your favorite wonder of all time, excluding natural wonders? Uh, I would say Temple of Artemis. So it's first Temple of Artemis. A second would be uh, Forbidden Palace. Uh, city for Venus, you know, one of those. Um, and third, it's Casa de Constatación. Like, if you get, oh my god, that that is just amazing. If you get, uh, you're an Oracle gang. What do you think? Oh, that's something that we might actually need to ask the viewers over here. What is your favorite wonder? Everybody, I'm, I'm addressing each and every one of you. What is your favorite wonder? We got Oracle, we got Kilva, we got Mausoleum of Hanikad Nassos. Check this out. We actually have such an interesting diversity over here. It, right from the beginning, three, four answers, a totally different. Five answers, totally different. Wow. <laughs> the, yay. We got uh, small soldiers going for Bermuda. We got um, the Lucky Luck uh, for uh, Artemis. Good evening, sir. Welcome. We got Bermuda, Marco Diabolo. We got the Great Library from Boreal. The, uh, exactly. It's a good one, right? so many good things panama canal and the golden gate bridge oh, i gotta say night demon definitely wants to connect people that is so cool <laughs> any pet rangers yeah any pet rangers we, do we have any pet rangers yeah uh, we do have uh, chuck getting courses and from what i can see he might actually try to push a little bit uh, t-tube of course uh, courses don't actually fare well <laughs> they are cav units and the t-tube is gonna have uh, hope lights i'm pretty sure the hope lights will uh, stand tall and we do need to see how uh, chuck is gonna try to poke around his opponent here uh, i can't really say uh, korea has a um, strong will to go against his opponent at this point i think uh, we do need to see Hazaki try to go for something like planes uh, to, or um, uh, tanks to go against Inca and uh, the long term gameplay is gonna be his uh, focus not the middle one uh, also I gotta say uh, thank you so much for the answers everybody and we got I love connecting seas and continents yes yes Grand Canyon would be two three on a desert river hills or flat and would provide plus one food plus one production and two culture on his styles also any national park put on at least one of its styles gets double tourism after refining or something wait there's a Grand Canyon somewhere uh, Salty Capybara is also mentioning the wonder of her heart is Rural Valley. Although, of course, my mom is from the Rural Valley. Wait, you actually got to see the Rural Valley? Oh, that's amazing. You're from the builders. Oh, from the engineers. Very nice, very nice. Uh, heck yeah, Petra Coast, Petra Tanta, Petra Lake, Petra, all my favorites. Yep, yep. All the Petras in the world. <laughs> Connecting people. <laughs> This is like, uh, how to say, Captain Planet, you know, everybody with a ring. <laughs> yeah! You know, we, we got like, uh, how to say, um, I don't want to say colors. You know, I, I, I stopped in the middle of that sentence because I realized in the middle of that sentence, saying colors might actually be a bad thing. <laughs> you know? We got the Bio Petra, we got the Aqua Petra, <laughs> we got the Desert Petra. Psh, connect, yeah! Uh, any thought about new patch? Is Asia Max Privet? Hello, Derson, and welcome. I think um, uh, we. Uh, how to say? Uh, oh. Good evening, sir. Hello, Der Papa Sparta. Thank you so much for uh, the follow. Uh, I think we. Yeah, indeed, it's been a while. Welcome, welcome, sir. Uh, one quick thought. Uh, Zenja Max, we would need, uh, I think, about a few days, like three, four days, to uh, make out, uh, make up our minds about um, the patch. Uh, initially, I like that it's uh, first of all stable. I really like stable things, uh, and uh, second of all, I definitely. Um, I uh, like to see Ethiopia back in the game. Uh, we do need to see some tests and uh, I haven't seen yet the people have enough uh, confidence in the monks. 
I would love to see some mocks. I know you guys left them back. I don't know if they're, it's, they're actually gonna be picked. Papa Sparta dropping two, three. Oh my god, two gifts. Thank you so much. Zinja Max, welcome to the Dreamers. We got Ostemir Burke as well. Thank you so much, man. And welcome, welcome. Woof, woof. Yeah. <laughs> what well, should we go for? Woof. Oh, no. Woof, woof. What, what do you think? Is it woof or woof? <laughs> How have you been doing? How's football? How's everything? How's uh, life? How's everything treating you over there? I, I guess you guys have um, uh, also uh, good weather, even in uh, November. I saw you guys are uh, all good, all fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. We got over here Tidium coming up with a few defensive units. He is getting definitely aware of what's happening. He's getting a few more horses out uh, while Chuck is building, building, building a bigger uh, army. Uh, we do have the numbers uh, in the top total tab from Chuck arriving at 480. Uh, he's starting to put Kappa Gnans. Uh, that means uh, he is, oh my god, he's going to actually connect uh, Cusco immediately with the north. And of course, we're going to need to see how fast he's going to try to get to his opponent. What is going to be his target? You know, Farsalos, Busan, uh, maybe Gangneung, uh, Gyeongju. Uh, we got quite a few uh, challenges for them this is the moment we do also need to see the era score who did manage to get the golden age the next golden it's gonna be so important uh, did you see a gogi uh, plus 50 percent recoins no i have not uh, do we have a good game here? We do! This is the third game coming up of this best of three series. Uh, and we do have on one side the SAS team, on the other side the uh, Ulysse. Both of them did manage to get um, one uh, win over each other. And yesterday we got an amazing game actually between these two. Uh, when uh, SAS team did manage to equal, Sandro Games dropped three capitals by himself. It was amazing. Hey Voxor, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Uh, the, uh, Sandro, yeah, Sandro did amazing. Did amazing. Yeah. Spoilers? What? I mean, did it? Oh, you didn't see? You didn't see it live? Come on, bro. Oh, I gotta, I gotta remind everybody, by the way, if you are popping in my YouTube, you definitely, please, please give some punches to YouTube, drop some comments in the um, videos, so we get to beat that algorithm. Uh, spoilers, give me my sound, man. oh no. <laughs> USA building a Temenanki, is it gonna be double a Temenanki? Wait, I, oh, he got the Temenanki away from it. Dun, 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 dun. America, America. We got Leech managing to get the Temenage from Korea. Well, I guess at the moment Hanzagi is with a big fat lip uh, from uh, Leech's aggression over there. It, it is what it is. We gotta see how he's gonna adapt around it. And of course, he's uh, just gonna um, put that production into something else. And we do see another wonder here. Let's check it out. Why can't we see? Oh, it's Great Bass coming up from Chanchon. Okay, that's uh, from another city. Guangzhou still didn't uh, actually go for uh, anything produced. Uh, had Fino, you think you will ever get an editor for the YouTube videos? Oh, I hope so. I really hope so. It's it's more a problem of how much return I'm uh, getting to, uh, so I can actually get an editor. I would definitely want one. I'm searching for one actually right now. Would definitely need one. Because like in between... Uh, admins uh, streaming games uh, getting uh, graphics going and um, uploading and uh, the websites and so on it, it's just so little time for everything else i i have an editor for the shorts uh, she's been helping me out for like six months now uh, but she's not from uh, bucharest i only talk with her uh, from the internet and she doesn't have a, a good computer so she can't really um uh, how to say she can't really uh, do a more co a complicated task other than shorts uh if she was in bucharest it would have been easy i would have just given her access to the computer and she or uh, get her a new computer and it would have been fine um but yeah it is what it is i don't know we'll see we'll see 
Uh, I think it's quite hard for these longer games as well because it takes uh, quite long to edit. Yeah, that's the problem. Like you load it in, you need a lot of RAM and then you uh, you definitely need to, uh, um, how to say, you have a lot of processing power uh, and patience <laughs> to actually get everything done. Um, have you talked to Potato about how he found his? I did talk with Potato, yes, I did talk to Potato and I don't really want to, uh, uh, how to say, reveal details. I hope you understand. Um, let's see, we got uh, Chuck over here coming up with um, quite a few courses going against uh, T-Tube. I think we do need to see if uh, the last score is going to be uh, arriving at uh, the threshold. Let's see, uh, Sandro Games 48, 48, he's going to get his Golden Age. Hazagi is uh, three points away from getting his Golden Age. And from what I can see, he's trying his uh, very best to actually get it. He's one turn away from getting the great bath and from what i can see he doesn't have anything to chop at the moment unfortunately the fact that uh, temenaki did not finish on his side uh, did um, not allow him to go for a golden uh, three oh, three three points yeah three points maybe he's gonna get a suze maybe he's gonna levy something uh, we do need to see if, uh, if that's gonna be the path he's gonna choose to go for i'm pretty sure uh, hazagi is aware how important it is to actually get a golden age we got xifi 48 points out of 54 he's also having a bit of an issue needs six more points and this is the last turn that he can actually get it to make a difference uh, doesn't look like he's actually gonna benefit from them where hoplites that's a good question we got one hoplite one lonely hoplite over here that looks like uh, it's still holding strong with 58 strength uh titube uh, i think actually um revealed a little bit too early the men at arms so unfortunately he has pigment to build and not hoplites anymore uh titube is also uh, 56 out of 48 points he's gonna get it and hazagi 55 57 still did not get it come on you gotta you gotta piece of city state you gotta drop some um, envoy somewhere come on hazagi you can do it we got spree coming up with 69 out of 53 he definitely got his golden age on two four six eight cities a decent amount of army going as well and oh my god no golden for hazagi or xifi no uh cap at the bottom and the mountain is soon yeah he's he's just gonna move his army all over the place loc welcome thank you so much for the sub thank you sir welcome uh also uh hope lights are st stronger on their own <laughs> well, I, I can't say i can't say i actually say that uh near greece you mean wait oh 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 i see oh my god is he actually gonna do this he's gonna do this right oh my god oh oh my god he's gonna build these two oh that's gonna be unbelievable this is gonna be crazy if he gets these going anyway we do have um uh, the last score here golden 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 everybody from ulysses team did manage to uh, get a golden age and uh, we do need to see if ttube is actually gonna um, uh, defend against this uh, the city of corinth athens cost gnosis are all gonna be in danger if, uh, if uh, there is a course in oh oh oh, oh it's um, it's happening it's happening one shot that oh my god look at the courses pump getting in there we got immediately titio trying to trying to get uh, his uh, reinforcements in there his uh, general is in the south uh, we do have uh, chuck getting more courses through that tunnel uh, going into the middle of the land of uh, greece oh my god unbelievable moves coming up from a check over here with the tunnels i'm another potato fan so I thank you sir thank you welcome maji pishirin i do hope you enjoy the show with us tonight nice play indeed oh my god i need to clip this i definitely need to clip this i don't know how i'm gonna clip this but i'm gonna clip this this is Wow, some uh, amazing cap uh, let's, let's see. Let's uh, see. Let's clip that. Uh, let's clip this together, guys. Of uh, course, so through that tunnel. Uh, anyway, we do have um, uh, the Iran, the Iran score. Everybody, oh, defend no. against this. Uh, the city of Corinth. 
me for there is a course in oh 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 it's um it's happening it's happening one shot that oh my god look at the courses Pump getting in there we got immediately titium trying to trying to get uh, his uh, reinforcements in there his uh, general is in the south and we do have uh, chuck getting more courses uh, through that tunnel uh, going into the middle of the land of uh, greece oh my god Unbelievable moves coming out from a Chuck over here with the tunnels. It's up. That's it. Okay, so we got a vote going on. Let me actually uh, take a quick peek over here, and uh, there we go. Uh, given this one, do you just uh, have to build an entry and an exit? Uh, yeah, exactly. You just need to build an entry and an exit. So let me go for this. This. Uh, this oh though its face may change what? throughout the ages oh, what they gg they gg for this oh my god pedigree should have died oh instant gg yeah you s two tunnels bro two tunnels bam chuck wins the day over here against his opponents willisi takes this win takes the best of three and he's gonna go forward sus team it is what it is inca shows up to win the day Unbelievable. Amazing. Oh, wait. GG will play. Let me actually take a look uh, in the channels. We do need to uh, hear them out. And of course, I gotta say a big disclaimer. We are in the Civil Four Squadrons. Uh, we are in the French community. We're gonna uh, hear quite a bit of French. We do need to see um, what they're gonna talk and uh, how they're gonna react to uh, this. Uh, and of course, if they're gonna answer some questions in uh, English. GG well played. Surprise uh, tunneling. Okay, surprise tunneling there. Yeah, I know he will do that, but... We had a really bad punch. What can I do? How do you know you I buy all the tiles. <laughs> how do you know I'm gonna tunnel uh, north? Uh, you I mean, it was sure. Uh, what? My fucking mountains. Uh, <laughs> why I do you think I have a course here on my city north? Or my scoot. No. <laughs> <laughs> The scoot is oh. dangerous. I'm gonna say. That's super. What the fuck is in spawn? Did he have uh, all of those farms at the start? You mean uh, Inca farms? Yeah. In capital. I had two on my B, on my cap, and one on my. B. The rest. Did you have five on your start? It, no, it's a jungle. Okay, okay. I have only uh, three, three, and four. Yeah. Good. But still, you have really good. Uh, yes. You spawned. Look at this. Setup. Perfect for Inca. Yeah. It was a very good setup, I see. You made so many uh, courser. And uh, courser are traveling very, very fast. In the free turn, I'm from my cap to. to oh, I see. You just tunnel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Puis, je peux être aucun forcé parce qu'on a pas de gold coin. Yeah. I respond to Giga says. So why did you not keep settling east, Sprig, and you got the cities on the west instead? Because it's a split, I guess. Because uh, he has the spice uh, there, I think. We have uh, like uh, twenty city in the green continent, no spice. He has we have, uh, one. We have <laughs> twice less luxes. If you look at the lux screen, uh, they have. Yeah, yeah. Like when I settle Biota, I have uh, two luxuries, uh, and uh, when I settle the seas, uh, I have uh, two. Uh, to, to spice. Okay. And now you're so going for that the geothermal speed? on the east to connect with uh, America, I guess. Speak, are you plus five or plus three? Uh, plus three. Okay, okay. I was barely plus three, but now I'm settled more and I'm plus two. I mean, to be honest, maybe we shouldn't have remapped the first map. 
I was surprised you actually wanted the remap uh, versus Ulysses. I, we I was expecting Ulysses to want the remap there with uh, Bulmus not having the, the best of land. Yes, but uh, we were thinking uh, Ethiopia had a very good uh, spawn and very good scaling. Yeah. So it was okay. We have a very good positioning. So uh, we, we stayed with, uh, with that, I think. I think it's a uh, stable play. We don't want to, um, to roll and uh, to get, uh, for example, a bull moose against uh, Gaul uh, in front lane or against uh, Spain. Would be in, uh, have, uh, very difficult. Oh, wait, I just see Ethiopia has um, the wonder. Well, yes. Kamukari? Yeah. Yeah. Plus 14 hindsight. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Nutai, that's the stuff. I, I walked 2 1 on 1 2. It's, uh, yeah, the recite is good. It's just 2 2 base, so we don't care. Yeah, I guess. And 200 face for Ethiopia this yeah. turn. Yeah, it's a lot better. Uh, I think we just get another key spawn. The, yeah, yeah, yeah the, your draft was uh, pretty good. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, it's okay with draft. Maybe, uh, maybe Pierre Ecles is uh, too much in the draft? Yes, I maybe. see. Maybe you need more gold making. Uh... I mean, I told them to be Vido, but they said Pierre Clay is better. I was <laughs> thinking uh, something like uh, Aztec. Uh, yeah, I told them pick Aztec, Dido, or Illinois, but they said Pierre Clay. Oh, oh, Aztec did more, do more gold than uh, Pierre Clay. Because uh, naturally, you will go uh, with uh, a commercial hub. But uh, I mean, if you pick Pierre Clay for Tidu, you go commercial anyway, so... <laughs> yes, but uh, you don't have the same tempo to go for a commercial hub uh, instead of Moctezuma. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just to defend us one. So you can't say it. I think it's the best one. But the route interne, it's quand même long du cul. Oui, it's gigantic. But après, t'as vu son spawn aussi. Oh, il peut rien faire en vrai. Et en plus, il a. Son spawn, il peut rien, il peut rien faire sur son spawn. Est-ce qu'il faisait le Stonehenge au fait? Parce que on a serré les fesses pour l'âge pendant 5 tours d'affilée. Ok, GG guys. GG, GG. GG. Bah, je pense qu'il no, no, it's personal. It's personal. Okay. I gotta say it was a little bit funny to see the ones that did have a water connections were the, exactly the ones that did not want to build a lot of trade routes. <laughs> Goal and Pericles. What is this? Mm. Yes, I, I mean, honestly when I spawn uh, when I spawn I uh, I almost click uh, commercial. <laughs> when I see my spawn, when I see my spawn, I, I almost click Magnus internet. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the pidum uh, wasn't that good. It's not a pidum. It's about uh, food. Hopefully, I have thirty tirets and a huge, uh, huge uh, wit at the end. Yep. Mm. Yeah, we didn't deny your stone circle, as I see in the silver play. There is no stone at all. Even hey, we'll if I had 10 stone of uh, fertility in this land, I think. Uh, I feel like uh, you don't really want to work your uh, your stone anyway with uh, with gold. Maybe even uh, it be, it's better to work a uh, culture with uh, with food, I think. Korea's science and culture was just amazing here. Very good spawn with uh, Paititi. What oh. were your plans for the late game, by the way, Hazagi? Or is Hazagi here? No, he's not here. Oh, he's Hazagi not. spawn was not that good, honestly. His Paititi is shit. <laughs> it's in desert. <laughs> I mean, sure, but he made it uh, good. He had very good stats. And uh, yeah. production and everything. Uh, like, Everything was good on for him. Oh le pas ici, il était ok hein. Et vu qu'il est settle sur un, un, une case avec trois de food, il peut travailler la 1 3 2 2. C'est un petit bonus sympathique. Ouais, ça va. Ouais, ouais c'est en early ça va. Il a trois de culture avec euh, la case plus le cheval là. Oui. 
so who, put the door. who are you facing now sorry who are you facing now uh fredito fredito oh interesting yeah uh, finally it's going to be next Final between uh, Frey 2 and Ulysse. Final of the of the season, best of uh, three. Interesting. I I didn't understand when is the next season coming up. Like I understand, of course, we're gonna have the end of the season with the final. But then when's the next one gonna come? Is there gonna be a pause? Is there not gonna be a pause? Like... Um, there there is a break because uh, CVC and. Uh, Uh, end of the year uh, holidays so next season might be like early january for squadron okay Maybe i think that's the longest break you had and give like extra time for people to play if they have availab availabilities in the late december but yeah I'm not sure okay cool well uh i guess we're I'm gonna need to see the final and uh, thank you so much for allowing me to stream this. It was awesome to see the new BBG, it was awesome to see Ethiopia finally get into Highlands. Oh yeah, my god, after like, the <laughs> But yeah. by the way, uh, why uh, there is BBG patch uh, during uh, best of three in the, the semi final? Like, uh, what the fuck? Because, because there is uh, always a competition running. CVC is was supposed to start I mean, it's this final, week. Uh, wait, final. Uh, uh, was supposed to start this week, so we planned for uh, this oh, week. Yeah. Yep. We didn't know, uh, like, we only know, like, one week ago that CVC is starting only one week later. Yeah, I, I guess of nobody course. knew. Uh, for, uh, I gotta say And, this, uh, man. The it is free was supposed to be finished by uh, this uh, weekend. It is unbelievable that when we tell them like tell everybody and i'm not talking about somebody in particular like when we tell everybody okay we're gonna cut this close we need that deadline to happen it actually happens when we tell them okay it's a longer deadline everything starts going badly <laughs> it's unbelievable anyway gg xifi and thanks you for the cast uh, michael it's my pleasure it was a great game Next bon. time. Bonne soirée. Bonne nuit. Bon bonne soirée. Bisous, bonne bus. soirée. Bisous, bye bye. So, uh, there we have it. We heard a little bit from uh, Chuck giving us um, uh, an idea of what's going to happen with the CVFR squadron. So, we do have um, another best of three going, and I believe we do have uh, some. Um, Uh, games are still going on in the D2, D3s. Um, and of course, we're going to have the CWC start up uh, next week. We did have a patch dropped also from the um, BBG server and uh, Zenja Max is over here uh, giving us some uh, idea about it. Um, and, and, uh, the one last time. Yes, I can show you the vision one last time. Which one's vision actually? Vision from Inca. Yes, this is the vision from Inca. Uh, I this is not the correct turn though. Flashy feats, hello, Derson, and welcome. Uh, you kind of ended up at the end of the stream over here. Uh, we do have um, the uh, finish of uh, finishing the game between Ulysses and uh, Sass team. Um, as we've seen uh, Ulysses managing to pick up a good move uh, with uh, the two tunnels uh, towards um, uh, the city of Knossos, Athens, and of Corinth. Uh, he was uh, managing to breach through the defenses of Greece uh, with those tunnels and uh, caught him by surprise. Uh, that gave him the win, made their opponents uh, actually GG. Uh, Shampa, what a tigress. Uh, thank you so much for the follow, and of course, welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, uh, you can watch the vote later. It's gonna be saved here on Twitch. It's also gonna be saved on. Uh, I'm gonna put it up on YouTube, but it does take me a while to actually download, um, edit, and of course put to YouTube. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, the follows, for the subs, for um, your support. I do hope you're gonna see and we're gonna see each other in the next stream as well. Tomorrow we're gonna have a two v two started up, and um, I did make an announcement on my um, uh, Discord. You can actually uh, check out over here on my Discord. Um, uh, the upcoming games uh, and tomorrow we're gonna have Chuck and Barsake go against Filsos and Leech uh, same hour 19 and 30 GMT on a Thursday I'm also looking for um 
uh, some games during the weekend but i gotta say this weekend uh, it will be quite important for me to get all of the details done for the cwc so i might uh, reserve some extra time for the cwc and uh, maybe um, skip one or two days we're gonna need to see how this uh, evolves and of course uh, how fast can i get the details from the teams uh, from the um, uh, each from each player so i can update the website Thank you so much, everybody. Also, uh, I gotta mention, if you're coming up from YouTube, I do hope uh, you're gonna give this um, uh, thumbs up because you enjoyed the show. And I do hope we're gonna see each other in the live stream on twitch.tv slash on Spot TV streams, on Spot TV, I mean. Um, and I do hope uh, we're definitely gonna have some fun uh, together in um, the next show. Uh, I also hope uh, you're gonna um, join my Discord so you can... Um, I take a look um, at my schedule and see when the upcoming games are going to be started and we can have some fun um, of course over there sharing some pictures with places to see with the food with uh, uh, some uh, different subjects movies and so on and so forth so let's um, talk with um, about this um, at a later time thank you so much for everything let's see each other in the next um, uh, stream tomorrow at 930 and at the same time I do hope you're gonna have some fun with some Civilization 6 gaming bye bye